Do you want to see it work without a projector? Okay. Vimeo has two modes. The first mode we just saw is called interactive. That's the coolest mode. That's the bell and whistle mode. But let's face it, here in Ohio, lots of times we don't have access to projectors. Am I right? Yes. So there you are again with your poor old whiteboard. Now, you know what? I'm going to put this thing under the table and turn it, put the cap on because you're not going to believe me if I leave it up there. Trust me. So I'm just going to take care of that. Mimeo was originally designed to capture notes written on a whiteboard because uh, the gentleman who designed it was going to MIT and they were doing a lot of different things and he hated copying everything down. So he did like this, they slap it on the board and everything you write in regular dry erase marker gets captured on the screen. Um, and then I'll put it back up on the projectors so you believe me. But uh, So here we go. This is the other half of it. This is a Mimeo pen and it works with regular Expo markers like the kind that you probably have in your classrooms. In fact, Rubbermaid liked Mimeo so much they went out and they bought Expo. So they worked together. <laughs> when you're rubber made, you can do things like that. So all I do is I put the pen right into, or I put the marker right into my Mimeo pen, I lock it up, and it's going to work the same way the mouse did with the ultrasounds in the infrared. And now anything I write, even in my bad handwriting, if all goes well, should be captured on my screen. Did it work? Yeah. Here it is. Okay. Anybody see that? I'm going to put it back up in a moment. If I have the projector on, you don't believe me. So. Okay. Another cool thing you can do, is, let's say I'm taking notes and uh, I'm doing a math problem. It has a copy button. So it makes, essentially, a flip book and records each step in the sequence. Okay, so I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to put the projector back on, and I can show you what I did for those of you in the back. I said, if I left the projector on, you wouldn't believe me, so here we go. Notice, what I wrote on the whiteboard is now digitally on my screen. I use this a lot when I'm in class and I don't have a projector. We only have a handful of projectors in the building. I still have the Mimeo, I still want to use the Mimeo, so I write my chicken scratch on my dry erase board, save it, and then I put it on my website so the kids can still get it. Other thing you can do, watch how easy this is, you can save this as a web page. All I'm going to do is, let's see, save it as 2 plus 2. Web page, save it. What it will do is automatically write all the HTML code that you need. So now if I put it online, or if I put it on a CD, I can have my kids go back, once again going back to that Tech 10 now, and when they open it, Mimeo has made a web page for me. There's my first step, my second step, my third step, and obviously my example is silly, but you get the significance of it. Imagine that if I took the recorder and said, this is how you solve a quadratic equation. Step one, step two, step three. Kid has that at their fingertips. Goes back to that tech 10, that active learning we've been talking about. Questions? Can you take your handwriting and turn it into a font? Text? Yes. Yes. It will do that as well. Should. Um, that's a that's a great question. For a while they were charging extra for it, and, and now they're not. But basically, what you can do is um, you can highlight that, and it will turn it into regular text. So you can put it into Word or whatever.